Good morning, good afternoon to all my friends at Silverdale, St. Luke's and Betley School. Hope you're having a thumbs up kind of day. Jolly good. Well, welcome to our whole school worship again this week. And today is, of course, a very special day. It's the 11th of November. Does that date mean anything to anybody? Hands up if it does. Yeah. Is it your birthday? <gasps> no. Is it almost Christmas? Mm, it's not that. Of course. It's Remembrance Day, isn't it? The 11th month of the year. And at a special time, on a special day, we think about something special. Who knows what time we think about something special? Well, we think about it all day, don't we? But at 11 o'clock, that's the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. So 11 o'clock on the 11th of November, we have a special one minute silence, don't we, for Remembrance Day. Anybody know why it's the 11th of the 11th? Yeah, I know you all do, you're so clever. I'll just remind you in case anybody's forgotten. It's on the 11th of the 11th because in 1918, that's a long time ago, that was the day that World War I ended when the First World War finally was over and then peace was coming. So now, and it happened at 11 o'clock. So now on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? We stop and we all take a moment and in silence we think in our hearts about the men and the women and the animals who died sacrificing their lives, sacrificing their lives so that we can live in peace. And we live in a pretty good time, don't we? We have our lovely schools, don't we? And we're not living under oppressive rulers who would do bad things to us. So all those soldiers, those men, women and animals, they did amazing for us, didn't they? Let's give them a thumbs up. Yeah, oh, very good. And we don't just think about it at 11 o'clock, do we? Because for weeks there's been different things going on about remembrance and I'm sure all week you've been doing different things in school. This coming Sunday, it's Remembrance Sunday in churches and those of you who are in Scouts are probably going to dress up smartly and take part in, say, in the Remembrance Day parades and things. So there are lots of things that go on to help think about and thank all those people who made a sacrifice for us. It's a very special day indeed. And I'm sitting here with this lovely poppy display that some of our ladies at church made and each one of these poppies has been individually crocheted very nice and they've all got a black button in the middle so that they really do look like poppies because do we know why we have poppies as a symbol of remembrance day do we know yeah you've already done about this haven't you i know but there was a field a special field called flanders field and there's a very special poem about it and when the war was over after a little while, all the poppies grew and the field was filled with red. But of course, the red, we can think about the blood and the sacrifice that people made, can't we? And that's why people wear poppies as a symbol of Remembrance Day. And I've got, you probably can't see from there, but I've bought a little special pin badge for, pop, for my remembrance this year. And it's a cross with a poppy in the middle. And it's something that I'll always be able to keep forever to think about remembering those brave men and women. So this term, we are thinking about compassion, aren't we? So shall we pray? Let's pray together. God, grant us peace to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference with the help of your love, amen. And we are gathered in the name of God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit to worship together and think about our value, compassion. Compassion. Well, in the dictionary, let me just check. The dictionary says the meaning of compassion is having sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering and misfortune of others. So thinking about people who are struggling and suffering, feeling it in your heart and wanting to do something about it. And... I guess you could say that those soldiers, that's what they did, didn't they? Those soldiers were worried about what would happen to their friends, their family, their town and their country. 
and they chose to fight and gave up their lives because of the compassion that they had, the love they had for others. So it fits in perfectly, Remembrance Day with, with, does with our theme of compassion, doesn't it? So those soldiers gave up their lives for us. Hmm. I wonder, hands up if you've got friends. Yeah, you've all got friends, haven't you? Hands up if you like doing things to make your friends happy. Yeah, of course you do. Okay, let me think. Put your hands up if you have ever shared your sweets with your friends, yeah. Put your hands up if you have ever played a game with your friends, yeah, hands down. Put your hands up if you have ever given them your last sweet. <gasps> Ooh, some of you have, some of you haven't. Put your hands up if you have ever turned off a game you were playing or stopped what you were playing so that you could play what your friend wanted to play instead. <gasps> some of you have, some of you haven't. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I wonder. I think I, I know, well, I know I would give my friend my last sweet if they really, really wanted it. And I know that if I was watching my favourite TV show and one of my friends came in and needed to talk to me because they weren't feeling good, I know I would turn it off and listen to them and talk to them or put on something that they wanted to watch to make them feel better. That's, them, those can be quite easy things to do. What about if you'd got a friend who was really poorly in hospital? And they needed a kidney transplant and they wanted one of your kidneys. That would mean you'd have to have a hospital operation. That would be really difficult, wouldn't it? I wonder how many of us would do that. Ooh, that's a big one to think about. I know that if it was one of my family, one of my children or my brothers or one of my nieces and nephews and they needed a kidney, I know, definitely 100%, I would see if I could give them my kidney. I would do that because I love them so much. If it was a friend, I like to think that I would. Not 100% sure, I like to think that I would. If it was a complete stranger though, mm, I really don't think I would give a kidney for a complete stranger. Maybe that sounds awful. Maybe that's just me. I don't know what you would do, but I'm not sure. Giving a kidney would be a big sacrifice. There's a great verse in the Bible, in John, and it says, No greater love has a person than to lay down his life for a friend. No greater love has a person than to lay down his life for a friend. The Bible talks about us making sacrifices for our friends. Okay, so that's good encouragement. There's also somebody really special in the Bible that made the biggest sacrifice for us. Hands up if you think you know. I hope you all know. After three, shout out your answer. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh, I hope you said Jesus. If you didn't, let's do that again. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh, very good. Yeah. Jesus gave his life as a sacrifice for us, didn't he? And it says in Mark that the Son of Man, that's Jesus, laid down his life for others. That is a vitally important message on Remembrance Day. We're thinking about the sacrifice that the soldiers made for us and we're thanking them for it. But we can't think about that without thinking about the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. Jesus loves every one of us. The Bible says God so loved the world, loves all of us, that he gave his son. And why did he do it? He gave his son so that all who believe in him can have eternal life. Jesus sacrificed his life for you and for me because of how much he loves us and he wants us to always have a friendship with God in this life and in the next for eternity. That is the sacrifice that Jesus gave and we thank him for it, don't we? Let's just pray together and have a moment to think. Father God, on this Remembrance Day, we do thank you for all those brave men, women and animals who have sacrificed their lives in their millions over the years to keep us living in peace. We thank you for them and we remember them. Help us to live in peace so that those awful things never happen again. And Father God, we thank you for the men and the women and the animals who serve in our armed forces, helping to keep us safe in this generation. 
Be with them and be with their families and keep them safe. We think about all those who around the world are in war situations. Lord, we pray your peace upon them, peace in their governments, Lord, and for wisdom and understanding to put an end to those conflicts. Be with them, Lord. And Father God, we ask you to be with us. Fill our hearts with compassion, Lord. Help us each day to be kind, caring, considerate, loving, and help us to just help other people in every way that we can. We thank you for today that it is Remembrance Day. Help us to always remember the sacrifice of others. But most of all, Lord, we thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus. We thank you that he died on a cross so that we can have all our wrongdoings wiped away, Lord, so that we can be friends with you in this life and in heaven forever. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, thank you for listening in today and I hope you do some amazing remembrance activities in your classes today and the rest of the week. God bless you all. See you next time.